Hi, I'm Travis with Pork and Salad, and this is my business partner, Jaren. And uh, today we thought it, would, it was really important for us to update our washing techniques uh, as recommended by the Department of Health uh, so that you have the most accurate information to go by in terms of the prevention of rat lung worm disease. You know, just to be clear, you know, our, our last video was very effective in cleaning produce. What we are doing today is showing you the most effective thing to do specific to this disease and this is why we're gonna just provide you a little bit of an update. We're gonna go ahead and start with um, some kale. First and foremost, you know, one thing that we've decided to try to focus on at Fork and Salad is selecting greens that are whole head. You know, one thing that the DOH uh, explains is that pulling off um, leaves, you know, whole, one at a time, and rinsing them under fresh free flowing water from the tap is the most effective way to rid any fresh produce of parasites. Uh, one thing that's really interesting is you know, we, we just switched from uh, curly kale to lacinato kale and as you can see it's just a lot easier to wash. You know it's a lot flatter, there aren't as many curls in it. So this is going to be our new kale in-house. Run it under uh, fresh water here and give it a little, you know, scrub. The best thing is just to get the pressure on the green itself. You know, just making sure that you're very, very carefully, you know, visually inspecting your greens, that, you know, if, if, if it's rigid or if it's hard, that you're using a brush and you're using free-flowing water. All right, so the next green that we're going to work on today is our junior head romaine lettuce. And again, you know, in our first video, we cut the romaine, but what we're going to do today is not do that. We're going to pull off the outer leaves and then we're going to harvest the the whole lettuce leaves and then wash them individually just as we did with the kale then they get spun and then at that point they can be cut once they're dry you know for salads and lastly we wanted to show you that we wash all of our fresh produce at pork and salad get a good scrub regardless if the skin is edible or unedible um, clean is clean for us and Jaren's going to go ahead and just demonstrate how we do that get the bottom of the scrub first And it seems like a lot of time it takes to do this, but fortunately, this is a big pineapple. It goes a long way when it comes to prep. Fantastic. You know, up here lists our night washing techniques. So all of our fresh produce, you know, aside from greens, we wash them all. You know, in the evening hours when it's a little bit slower, this lists all of them. You got pineapples, cucumbers, broccoli, eggplant, radish, pretty much everything uh, we wash. And then over here, this is updated proper washing techniques per the DOH. Um, you have your do's and don'ts. Do everything that we did in this video. Thoroughly wash produce under running water. Before cutting, buy from a reputable source. That's super important. Know where your produce comes from. You know, who has harvested. Discard outer leaves before washing. Rinse under running tap water. Uh, produce with hard rinds or skin should be scrubbed with a clean vegetable brush as Jaren demonstrated. Uh, wash whole fruits and veggies even though you don't eat the outside rind. And after washing produce, clean the sink thoroughly and utensils with soap and water just as we would do in every professional kitchen. These washing techniques were recommended by the Department of Health. You know, we're following them uh, to the T. You know, we feel very confident in the produce that we are providing you. And you know, so come in and enjoy a safe and healthy salad. And remember to always update yourself on the newest information coming out, you know, about what we're dealing with. And you can visit us at our website at ForkinSaladMaui.com. We'll include a link to the Department of Health website as well. Thanks for joining us. Eat local, eat healthy.